What's the worst sex ed advice you received at school? In primary school they decided to separate the boys' and girls' classes and show the boys the girls' sex ed video and vice versa. Not a clue what was going on in their heads. That sex isn't supposed to end until the ladies' boobs start whistling. This sounds like something your older brother would come up with and tell you to f*** with you. Did anyone else get the tape thing? My teacher took two pieces of duct tape and stuck them to her sleeves. She would then peel them off and re-stick that to her sleeves getting the back side of the tape more linty each time. She said that the pieces of tape were people and every time she put them on her sleeve it represented them having sex with a different person. Eventually when she put them together they didn't stick very well from all shirt fibers and this meant they were so emotionally disconnected they couldn't form a lasting bond. So don't have sex or you'll be a broken shell of a person unable to love. We never really spoke about it, which I guess is worse. To be fair my friend didn't get pregnant until after mandatory, when she was 16. It's mandatory for girls to get pregnant at 16. That's rough buddy. Got to register for the selective cervix. I basically had the same sex ed they gave in Mean Girls. The whole condoms don't work. Pills don't guarantee 100%. So if you have sex, you will get pregnant. If you have sex, you'll get pregnant and die. This isn't advice but my sex ed teacher told us. Ejaculate is the whitest substance on earth. Your sex ed teacher's cum looks like white out. Men are completely incapable of controlling themselves. Made it sound to everyone that we had no control over our bodies, thoughts or actions and that we spray urine and semen at everything that crosses our path. As a Muslim raised girl, this one pisses me off. In some religions, cultures they put an emphasis on covering up girls so they won't get raped. If you ask why, the answer is, men can't control themselves. This is such a harmful mindset because men are viewed as primitive beings that have no control of their actions. And that if anything happens to a girl it's her fault for provoking the man with her clothes actions. It's a shitty take all around that infuriated me to no end. No girl will ever want sex from a boy, ever. In my French language class in high school, the teacher explicitly told our class 100% white that we should have lots of children in the future to outbreed them. Straight up dominionistic bullshit. That was 35 years ago, but it still takes up space in my head. I'm 24 and when I was a freshman in high school my health teacher legit told us that women could get pregnant by just sleeping naked next to a man. She told us of her best friend who never had sex, but kissed and hugged a man naked and got pregnant. I mentioned my age because that kind of batshit crazy take on sex ed seemed outdated to us and it was relatively recent. It was a public school too by the way. Yeah, she would get naked just to kiss and hug. Seems like a legit story. The sex ed I had in school consisted entirely of a 20-minute video in third or fourth grade that basically amounted to sometimes you'll pee your pants when you're asleep but it's not pee. This is normal and in health class we had a unit on STDs. Not like how to prevent, treat them. But wow, this sucks. Look at all those rashes and hives you can get. So I'd say the worst sex ed advice I received at school was N.A. Our teacher told us all the different types of sex oral, vaginal, anal and some girl asked him if finger banging counted as sex he said, no, it doesn't. The girl then proudly proclaimed that she was still a virgin. That was grade 5 folks. We had an abstinence educator talk to my 10th grade class about some activities that didn't involve vaginal intercourse. Some kid in the back of the room recommended anal. It was all over at that point. Go to your room. I was homeschooled. I knew this genius at school from the football team who I once heard saying yeah so if you finish inside a girl try your hardest to pee in her. The acidity of pee will kill the sperm. Fortunately we were in anatomy class and my teacher heard it too. She gave us a quick and actual sex ed class right there and then. Wrap it twice. Just as nice. The condoms rub against one another and have a greater chance of breaking. One is fine. What you do is you put one on and then add hot sauce and then put on the other one. You will notice if one of them breaks. 
Mine was at an all-girls school. Every time you have sex with a man, you lose some of your special glue. If you lose all your special glue, no one will want to marry you. Seems like more sex would get you more special glue. If you have sex, you will get gonorrhea, and you will die. I had a gym teacher say it's impossible to have sex with a woman if she didn't want to because the hole closes up if she doesn't want to. He went to jail for guess what? Tax fraud. Don't try to stick your dick too far in. BC a baby will grab hold of it and pull its way out. Abstinence is the only way to get to heaven. Unless you are married. Total BS. There's a stairway you can buy. We were told that a wet dream produced an amount of fluid tantamount to wetting the bed. They didn't even tell us what fluid it was. You guys got sex ed. We got separated. Girls in one room and boys in another. And proceeded to tell us girls it will hurt no matter what and we have to be the careful ones with contraception and STD contraction. Whilst the boys got it's cool you're fine. Luckily my mum and I are close so having that talk was a lot more insightful and easier than the shit they gave us at school. It was unsolicited sex advice from a psych tar. Don't go into dark alleys because you will end up having sex in there. With who? No freaking idea. Maybe the weird alley sex goblins. The STD talk during my middle school's health class comprised of a vague video showing a paintbrush dipping into various paints. One after another. Until there was a messy smear of colors everywhere. The advice was. Verbatim. Girls. Don't let other people's paint get anywhere near you. Art class afterwards was real fun though. I had no sex education, not from parents or school. Our school's excuse for sex ed was a one-hour presentation where the girls and boys were separated. Girls were taught about periods, what an STD was and how pregnancy happens. Nothing about actual sex. Nothing about men's bodies. Nothing about safe sex. Nothing about birth control. I had never heard of a clitoris until I was 14. Thank God for the internet. Seriously I don't know what I would have done. And that's the message that we deliver to little kids and expect them not to know what a woman's clitoris is. Not exactly sex ed, but in the fifth grade, our class was separated into boys and girls and shown VHS tapes about our changing bodies. For the girls, I distinctly remember the tape talking about acne and that guys won't find you attractive if you have pimples. Huge confidence killer later when I ended up getting acne as a teenager. As a guy, the only thing I learned from sex ed and this was for all the boys to learn once the girls were separated was that pregnancy can happen and this what an anatomically correct penis is. An anatomically correct penis. Were they trying to shame some poor kid? If you ask any questions I'm gonna assume your penis is wrong. I'm looking at you, Sarah. They showed us this very sad video where a girl got pregnant, but couldn't handle motherhood so she suffocated her baby with a pillow. What the f***? Don't have sex or your penis will fall off. Flex tape fixes everything. Condoms are worthless so don't bother. This was at a public school in an abstinence-only state. The statistics they gave us were that condoms fail 16% of the time, because there are tiny pores in them, and sometimes human sperm can swim through those pores. The HIV virus is 100% smaller than a human sperm so how often do you think it can get through those pores? As an adult I found out that these BS claims are based on lambskin condoms which actually say right on the package that they are not recommended for the prevention of disease because they do, in fact, have microscopic pores in them. But like, I don't even know where you would get these condoms. All the ones I've ever seen in a store are latex, which has no pores, and are far from useless. Every time you have sex, it's like taking tissues out of a box, and nobody really wants an empty tissue box. Got shown bad pics of stations and a live birth where a woman ripped really bad. We were basically told to not have sex no matter what until we got married. Funny thing is that my high school, junior high had the highest teen pregnancy rate in our district. Guess the class didn't work. I went to a school in a wealthy suburb in Texas. Our school was forced to teach safe sex. Not safe sex. So, abstinence only. No discussion on condoms or any other type of birth control. Like a third of the female students graduated with at least one secret abortion under their belts. 
When I was homeschooled my mom told me that masturbating caused cancer because you'd be too aggressive to your ball sack due to the motion. I feel bad for my father now. That's ironic because it actually helps to prevent prostate cancer. Only coloreds transmit STDs. 80s rural Midwest town. When I was in middle school an 8th grader told me that men have a set number of sperm so if I masturbated too much I'd never have kids. If that were true I think most men would be infertile by their 20s lol. Yes. 20s. That men had to be circumcised before having sex. Or the foreskin would rip. Leading to all kinds of infections. Permanent injury. Or even death.